Well, the Medeski Stadium has been waiting eagerly for this picture to start. And Graham Murty is a Liverpool fan, but he was either injured or rested for the four previous meetings between the teams. He's finally got to face them. Steve Koppel also grew up supporting Liverpool and still gets a tingle when he comes up against the team of his boyhood dreams. Liverpool, the last team Reading wanted to see because Reading have the second worst defence in the Premier League, only Derby have conceded more. And Liverpool, of course, with 21 goals in five straight victories. Peter Crouch, a rather obvious target for John Arnorisa, and it's Torres, and yes. Hanneman blocks it. Nicky Shuri's left foot delivers. Liverpool dig it out eventually. But Shuri's onside. Look at the room he's got. He's going to make the right choice. Convey helps it on. And now bring you Gunnison. But Rayner is behind that. Shuri. Perfectly to Convey. First time. Look at the Gunnison who goes down. And it's a penalty. Penalty given. Yeah, he was looking at his assistant. Touching goal. How close it was. Liverpool are saying it was outside. It was actually Steven Gerrard who didn't track the run initially. And you can see Liverpool are incensed about where the initial free kick was. It was a yard outside. Now, the assistant who gave it is 20 yards maximum from this challenge. OK, he falls into the box. The challenge is outside the box. Andre Mariner looked at his assistant who he's going to now, and he signalled for a penalty kick. When I think Crocs, he could quite clearly see, and that was a yard out. Look at the linesman's position, perfect. Look at the challenge, not a difficult decision, I have to say. Not a difficult decision, it's a yard out. And I can see, I mean, they didn't track the run, I will say that. I think it was Gerard they run off. It wasn't a great challenge, but, you know, he looked at it, the assistant, for three or four seconds, then he put the flag across the chest, end result, penalty kick. Steve Artis, the assistant referee, made that wrong call, but what a lift it will give Reading if they can score here. Stephen Hunt. Hunt does score! Reading have the lead, but it's harsh, very harsh, on Liverpool. Well, he's composed. They've started the game pretty well. Reading, Liverpool haven't got going at all. I mean, the shape's not suiting them. In my opinion, they've been scrappy. You now, Reading have put them under pressure. OK, it wasn't a penalty kick. The decision goes against Liverpool, but he finishes it well, Hunt. And that'll give them a, a real lift. And you can quite clearly see, even from that angle, he is a yard outside. Now, the assistant's looking straight across at it, and he just gets it wrong. Mascherano, he's presented that straight to Hunt. Murty on the overlap. Mascherano, now he's given it to Kitson, and Conley's going to arrive on the scene. Oh, wow, that was some strike, and it looked, it looked like it was heading into the top corner. Oh, cracking strike, son, it really was, but... Now let's not get away from it, they're all over the shop at the moment, Liverpool, and again, you know, early ball in, OK, it's not a great touch, but just look at the space he's got, because they've all tucked in. He decides to take it first time. Great strike. And it's always just on the up. Well, that's a foot or so over. Well, everything has been going right recently for Rafa Benitez, but not so far today. Reina seeking out his fellow countryman Torres and he found him. And now Steven Gerrard is in. And Liverpool respond, taking the direct route to goal. Goal again, Gerrard makes it 1 1. Well, it digs him out of right hole at the moment because they've not started this game well. 
Clearance away by Hobbs. Inge Marsen gave it to Gerard. You don't want to do that. And now Fernando Torres is bearing down on goal again. And Torres goes to ground, but no penalty for Liverpool. I think the crowd felt it was a dive from Torres. Once again, he finds himself in this position. Well, Sonko there. I think he catches him. And he does. Steve Koppel downstairs for the second half. Foran in. And Torres is onside. Fernando Torres. Was he brought down? No. He's quite quick and powerful, the striker. You just see the big defender coming in, just gets a... Well, once again, just another toe in the ball. Once again, he's just there, just does enough. Excellent decision from the officials. It looks like it's going to be power from Risa, a little layoff. It is Risa, and it's a fine save that from Marcus Hanneman because there was plenty of power. Yeah, great strike from Risa. Harper. Hunt. Doyle's gone outside of him. And there might well be a car coming out here for Steven Gerrard. Well, he just brings him down as he's going through. Good play from Hunt. Takes none of the ball. The referee's spot on. He wasn't happy about it, Gerard, but he finds himself in the book. It is Nicky Shuri who sends it in. They just drop far too deep. You watch, in the goal and in the goal. And it's a wonderful ball in. And whether it takes a touch or not doesn't matter because it's in the back of the net. The keeper doesn't know what to do because he's waiting on somebody getting a touch. And they're almost on top of him by the time it comes in. They're only three or four yards from him. There's about four Reading players there and only a couple of Liverpool defenders. Not great defending. The faintest of touches. That's all it needed. And well... I have to say, they didn't look like getting a second goal ready, but they've got it. And I did say, early in the game, set pieces for Reading will be key. And he just gets the faintest of touches. Of course, as a striker, he's going to tell you that anyway, but he gets <laughs> himself in there, and he gets his just rewards, and the keepers get no chance. Unexpected, I have to say, the way the second half was panning out, but... Well, they're in the hunt again. And Doyle, that time with a tremendous try. And this is a completely different Reading side to the one we watched against Arsenal a month ago when they were just totally outplayed. Now they've decided to have a go here against Liverpool. And one thing's for sure, they've got a bit of work to do yet to secure a victory here. A wounded Liverpool responding with Sissoko. And Gerrard... Oh! It bounced off the bar from Gerrard. It's Risa who floats it in. Gunnarsson who just managed to hook that away from Coronin. Combi, and he's put it on for Harper. James Harper bearing down on goal. Can he score? You bet he can. And this really could light up Reading's season. They might just be heading for their first ever win against a big four team. Well, that's a classic counter. But who is tracking the midfield runner of Reading? Who is tracking Harper? You look up in the middle of your screen here. He busts a gut to get in. 
He wants it more than them. I have to say, Doyle did brilliantly initially. And what he does when he gets in here, he doesn't panic. He just takes it around the keeper, and that's an open goal. And I did say, don't sit in and try and see this game out. Well, they've gone, they've got in a thumb. Sissoko and Harry Kewell slips wide. That could have hauled Liverpool right back into it. Well, he's just looking to cut across this Harry Kewell. Get a little bit of cut spin on it on the left foot. Ryan Babel has scored a few goals after coming on as a sub this season. And he's about to be introduced for the last 20 minutes in place of Jack Hobbs. Well, he's got 20 minutes to change this game. I have to say, uh, I don't think they've ever looked comfortable in this formation, Liverpool, this evening. It's been a tricky night for Rafa Benitez, to say the least. Jack Hobbs has gone off, and on comes Ryan Babel. Well, it could have been so different. You know, Jared, look at the keeper here, he just, he's nowhere near it. And then, a minute or so later, they just switch off Liverpool, and Harper runs, what, the best part is 60 yards, right through the middle of the defence. And there's the manager, there's what he thinks of it, wonderful finish from Harper. Well, there's a change of mind here, and Steven Gerrard is being replaced. He tossed the captain's armband in Carragher's direction. Jack Hobbs had already gone off, but he's back on, and Gerrard has been replaced by Babel. Well, I can't believe that. I mean, I just can't believe it. You're 3-1 down. Y you tell me, are Sissoko or Mascherano going to get your goal? Well, I, I don't think so, I'm sorry. I'm not suggesting that Steven Gerrard is beyond being taken off. Not at all, because everybody can be. But in the performance today, I mean, you can just see 46 Hobbs. Well... Flicked on by Crouch for Babel, and... Oh, what a try from Peter Crouch! And it bounced off the post and back to a great ball, Hanneman. They've hit the bar, they've hit the post. PK overcooked it towards Lita, but it's all over. And Steve Koppel has got one over the team of his boyhood dreams. Reading have beaten a big four side for the first time. Liverpool unable to continue their winning streak. Stephen Hunt with a controversial penalty started the scoring. James Harper ended it. This really could get their season going. It ends. Reading three, Liverpool one. <laughs>